Guys, welcome back to the Mary Boozers RC channel. Today we are continuing on on our Bind and Fly Ultra Stick from Hangar 9. Now, this airplane is only sold as a plug and play, but with Horizon's new products they put out from Spectrum, you can take your uh, new forward programming receivers, plug them into the computer, download the preset up model files like we did in the previous video, which Lori will link up here if you haven't seen it yet. Um, we are at the point where we have downloaded the model file to the airplane. We have installed our receiver into the airplane now, and we are going to set up the bind and fly template for the ultra stick advanced mode into the radio in this video today. So, it's really not a complicated process, guys. I wanted to show you how easy it is in a series of videos. I definitely thought it might be easier for guys that are coming in, because this process is gonna be the same whether it's an Ultra Stick or a P51 in the future, whatever that they've come out with, you know. Um, but an airplane that comes as a plug and play only, but you wanna make into a bind and fly. So they're gonna be doing this for a lot of airplanes in the future, I have a feeling, and uh, why not show you how? So first thing we need to do, we need to take our uh, radio of choice. I've got the NX-8 today. We need to take the NX-8 over to the computer. We need to download the profile for the Hangar 9 Ultra Stick. If you're using a six channel, there's a profile for a six channel transmitter setup. If you're using an eight channel and you want Crow and all the other features of the Ultra Stick, you need to make sure you download that one. So I have linked all of that down in the description, there's the Ultra Stick manual from Spectrum for doing this. If you click on that, it'll bring you to the same page as me. So we're gonna move over to the computer now. I'm gonna show you how to get the file on the NX-8, and then we will set the rest of this up. All right, guys, so we've moved over into my office. This page is linked in the bottom of this video, guys. So if you wanna click down there, it's called the Hangar 9 Ultra Stick PMP Model Preset Files. Once you get this page opened, right here you have the DX radios, the NX radio, and the IX radio setup files if you're doing the Ultra Stick right now. Now, if you're doing a different model, you're gonna to need to go on Spectrum website to download these presets, but we're gonna focus on the Ultra Stick for today. If we click on the NX radio setup file, because we're gonna use an NX radio, it brings you to this next page. There is a README file with a step-by-step -step instruction of how to do what we're about to do, but I'm gonna show you it today, so we're not gonna to worry too much about that right at the moment. Here we have the Ultra Stick PNP Advanced setup, and we have the Ultra Stick PNP Basic setup. If you're using a six channel receiver, you're going to use the basic, we are gonna use the eight channel setup today, so we're gonna use the uh, advanced setup. So I'm gonna go on and click with my right click. It's gonna bring up this drop down menu. We're gonna go down to download. It's gonna download the file down here in the corner of our screen if you are using Google Chrome. At this point, what we need to do is turn our NX-8 transmitter on, or NX-6, whatever transmitter you're using. Um, Lori's running the camera right now, so hopefully y'all can see the screen of the radio. We're gonna click, we're gonna scroll down, system setup, oops, I clicked the wrong one. Down, system setup, yes. We're gonna scroll down, to USB settings. Now at this point, we're going to plug our USB port into the back of the transmitter. You can see the light turns on. On the screen here, there's this folder looking icon if you're running Windows 10. We're gonna click that. It's gonna bring up all of our different devices right now. At this point, we're gonna scroll down to access internal storage and click it. And hopefully it works. So every once in a while I have to do this a few times to get it to actually pop up the drive. So the drive is not showing up. Oh, there it goes. 
So you can see it just popped up, USB drive D. Yours might be different depending on how many drives are in your computer. But this is everything that is currently on my NX radio. So if we go up here to our downloads tab, or you can always use your Google Chrome and click the little arrow button right there and hit show in folder. It'll also pull it right up for us. So there it is, Ultra Stick PNP Advanced Setup. I'm gonna right click on that. I'm gonna go to copy. We're gonna go down to our USB drive D. Remember, this is our NX radio. We're gonna just drop that file right here in there. It takes a few seconds. It's gonna put its file in there. As you can see, uh, I have my NX8. This was the uh, update for the radio, and now there's an Ultra Stick PNP Advanced uh, file in there. At this point, we're gonna right click on the drive itself, so USB drive that we're looking at, and we're going to go eject. That makes it to where we can safely pick up our radio again now. Click the scroll wheel in. That takes it back out. And at this point, we need to go import the model. So go back. We are on the system setup screen right now. We're gonna scroll down to transfer SD card. We're gonna go import export as it is under options, import a model. And now you can see the ultra stick PNP advanced setup is right here. If I click on it, do you want to import this model? Yes. Hit the import button. This will take a few seconds. Just leave it alone. I know it's slow for a second. There it goes. And now we have all of our presets for the ultra stick. So if we flip the switches, attitude mode, manual mode. You can see they've already mode. done all the talking parts. Mode. Flaps. Takeoff flaps. Landing flaps. Takeoff flaps. Normal mode. Spoilers. Knife edge mode. They're all done for you. It talks, it does it all. Then you didn't have to set any of this up. So now we're gonna go back into the uh, model room and we're gonna bind this to the receiver and make sure it's all working. All right guys, we're back here on the bench. We have our freshly done NX radio. Turn this on real quick. As you can see, we have it on our preset model file for our UltraStick PNP. We have already installed the receiver. If you haven't gone on ahead, watch this video, Lori will link it for you. It'll show you how we downloaded the preset model file to the receiver before we did all this and set it up. And we also have the UltraStick assembly video where we show how we actually installed this receiver. Remember, keep your antennas going 90 degrees. So I have one going across here and I have one going back here into the tail. So at this point, all we need to do is bind the model and make sure everything's working correctly. So to bind the model, I'm gonna go on and plug it in, prop off of the airplane. We're gonna hold the bind button till we see it start flashing, and it is. Grab our transmitter. Scroll down to bind. Yes. I'm gonna hold the transmitter about five feet away right now and hit bind. Binding. DSMX 22 millisecond. Got it. Bind complete. Bind complete. Give it a second to finish its stuff. There it goes. We're gonna do a quick controlled surface check just to make sure it's working. Elevator is working, rudder is working. Now, at this point, I need to put the wing on and then we'll go on to the next step 
where we're gonna go into forward programming and we're gonna make sure that it relearns our servo setups and that it also knows what orientation the gyro is in. So give me one moment. I'm gonna unplug everything. I'm gonna put the wing on the airplane. It's just as simple as plugging everything up. If you watched our assembly video, we labeled everything in the assembly video and uh, we'll do the next step. All right, guys, so we've successfully bound our airplane to the NX-8. Uh, I have put the wing on now because we're gonna go on and start actually programming the airplane. I'm gonna plug it in now that it's successfully been bound. The airplane will go through its cycles two times to tell you that it's in uh, safe select mode. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna click the scroll wheel in. We're gonna scroll down to forward programming. Forward programming. If you don't have your throttle cut on, it won't let you into this menu. We're gonna to go to gyro settings, system setup, relearn servo settings, apply, complete, gyro settings again, system setup, orientation, set the model level, press continue, the model is setting level in a stand, continue, set the model on its nose and press continue. If the orientation on the next screen is wrong, please try again. So we're going to do it real quick. It's a little difficult right now. This is why we left the prop off. I'm going to set the airplane up on its nose. Balancing act here. Scroll down to continue. There it is. Now, you can go back and look at our, our installation to know that we did it right. Or, I just remember that the ports are facing the front of the airplane right now. So, yes, it is correct. It shows our little receiver. The ports are facing the front of the airplane. That is correct. So we're gonna go down to continue. Save settings. Receiver will reboot. Please stand by. There it is. Now we can go on and verify. Pull this airplane over here where you guys can see it. Ailerons are working. Flaps are working. I need to adjust mechanically my controls. As you can see, they're off right now. So even though we've set everything up, correctly, we might need to go in and do some fine tuning on this. And we do. As you can see, they're working, but they're not centered. So I'm gonna mechanically center everything. Now, we can also check that our safe modes are working. Let's see, I believe it is this one. Attitude mode. And it is. I can turn the airplane now, and I can see the ailerons moving for safe. If I switch while it's in an angle, you can see they go back to neutral, although they're off right now. And this is nothing. So you can hear nothing's moving. Stability, they're moving. Safe, and they're really moving. Anyway, it's all set up for you now. Like I said, I need to go around and adjust everything to center real quick. All right, at this point, we have reset our gyro orientation and done the servo uh, reset. And we can confirm that the ailerons work, the elevator works, the flaps work, the rudder works, everything's working. At this point, what we need to do is look around the model and make sure all of our control surfaces are neutraled out. On your NX radio, if you're following our uh, video, it's this top right switch labeled B, excuse me, top left, ha, <laughs> a military left. Anyway, use this top switch, make sure it's all the way towards you in position two. This is gyro off mode. At this point, we can turn the model over carefully as to not break anything. 
If you have a pair of ball link pliers, they're gonna be your friends here. Cause you're gonna wanna reach in and pop the ball links off. I can see that this aileron needs to come up a little bit. This could be done through sub trim, but I like to keep all my trims at neutral and mechanically adjust these. So pop my little ball linkers on, pull that off. I know that it needs to come in. So I'm gonna take and turn the ball link. And what I'm actually gonna go on and do is grab a pair of pliers, hold on to it, grab another pair of pliers, simply spin it in now. They're tight. And I'm gonna use two or three turns here to get that in. Now we can check our work. Needs to go in a little bit more. And the reason I leave the model on for this, these are pretty tight. I'm gonna go on and just pop it off all the way. But the reason I leave the model on for this step is so that I know the servo doesn't move while doing this. There you go, that's a lot easier with them just both off. Turn it in a few times. Make sure they're straight. Now I can just kind of hold it up here on the ball links and check it. It's right on the money now. So now we just got to pop our ball links back on. Urgh, they're tight. Sometimes they only go in one direction also. Like that. Hold that in the right position. Pop it on. And now this aileron is perfectly straight with the outside. But now my flap is off also, so I need to pop it off and adjust it. I'm gonna go around the entire model now and adjust all of these to where they're perfectly flat. You're gonna hear the little bit of a doo -doo 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 -doo. These are digital servos. Don't be alarmed by that. They always make noise. It's just part of these things. Um, so I'm gonna go around and do that right now and I'll get back to you in just a few minutes. All right guys, so we got all our control surfaces centered out on the airplane. We went around and mechanically adjusted those. And now our last step is to go around the airplane and make sure everything is functioning correctly. When you first do this, I tell you to, although this is a plug and play, go on and check this. Make sure when you go full left aileron and full right aileron, I'll get Lori to cut in a little shot of this. You just want them to go all the way back and not hit. If you need to, you're gonna to need to go in and make adjustments to your transmitter settings to where they, they move their full travel, but they don't hit. We're good on our ailerons. One thing I had to do right off the bat is when I put full flaps in, they were hitting just a hair. So I just reduced in the flap systems, my flap, adjust, my flap full uh, deflection from 100%, I changed it to 80 and now there's no issue there. So that's one thing you need to check. Make sure none of your servos are binding out on the model. After that, just to confirm everything is working correctly, normal mode, which is switch A in zero position, D switch in zero position. I have ailerons, I have elevator, and I have rudder with normal flaps. Now, if I flip switch A, this puts us into advanced mode. So at the top position, we still have everything normal, but if we put it into flaps down one position, now we have full spanned ailerons. And if we flip it one more time, now we have crow. So that's everything there. If we flip A switch, we now have spoilers. All right. So that is everything set up on this airplane now. We've checked our gyro. We've made sure everything's correcting the right direction. Uh, everything is ready to rock and roll on this airplane. So without further ado, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button down there in the left hand corner. and. Uh, Keep checking back for more videos from us here at the Mary Boozers channel. We always enjoy you coming, guys. Get out there and fly with your friends.